If this lure looks familiar, that's not surprising. They've been around since 1986 and it's called a stump jumper. It was originally designed by a guy called John Ellis. And he made them out of timber back then and he was after a lure that he could specifically use around heavy structure and snags for Murray Cod with a greatly reduced chance of getting caught up or fouled up in the snags. Modern stump jumpers are now made of plastic. They come in four sizes. This is the big guy based on John Ellis' original cod model. This is the number one. They go to a number two, three and 3.5. The 3.5 is a tiny little one that you can use for brim or trout. The number three, two and one all have an interchangeable bib system which is a terrific idea because this deep diving bib isn't going to suit a lot of applications so we can pull this bib out and put a smaller bib in that allows you to work this lure in a shallower situation. That's opened up stump jumpers way outside the Murray Cod market. That's opened them up for barramundi, golden perch, trout, brim, you name it, stump jumpers can cover it, especially with the different sizes. And they also come in a huge array of colours, including some fantastic metallic finishes. Changing the bibs on your stump jumper lure is really, really simple. Right now I'm going to change this deep diving trolling bib with a shallow running smaller bib. The models 3, 2 and 1 come with a spare bib in the box and you can also buy spare bibs from your local tackle shop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ease this bib out. It takes a little bit of force, which is what you want, because you don't want it falling out while you're fishing. And then the shallow running bib just goes in exactly the same slot, click it into place, and that's not going anywhere. What a very versatile way of changing this deep diving lure into a shallow running lure in a split second. With the range of sizes and the range of colours, you've got a lure that's going to suit all sorts of fishing applications. Stump jumper lures are really, really versatile and a great product. Just going to take a minute to give you a trolling tip when you're fishing for structure oriented fish. That's fish like mangrove jack, barramundi, murray cod, fish that live around submerged timber or rock bars. We want to get our lure down where those fish live, but what we don't want to do is get snagged. So this little tip is a really easy way of reducing that chance. I'm going to start by holding the rod at 90 degrees to the boat. I need to hand hold it because you can't do this when the rod's in a holder. When I feel the line or the lure, uh, touching a snag, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point the rod back behind the boat. That's going to throw slack line into the system. That's going to allow that highly buoyant lure to float up above the structure. When the line comes tight again with the forward motion of the boat, the lure is going to swim down the front face of that structure. That's a prime holding spot for predatory fish and that's a great way to increase your strikes and reduce your chances of snags. It's a really good trolling tip.